Welcome to Kavi Gupta Gallery in Chicago. We are here in front of the entrance to Marie Watt, Sky Dances Light. Let's take a look. You know, any exhibition where you can touch, I'm going to be a big fan of. So this curtain is what welcomes visitors to the exhibition. These are all little uh, tin can covers curled into jingles. These um, sculptural pieces are called jingle clouds, for lack of a better uh, explanation. Marie Watt is a Seneca artist, and one of the inspirations for the jingle clouds, and again, it's great that you can touch these pieces and they move, so they're, they're kinetic in a sense, obviously, you get the feel of the, the sound, but take a look at this, this, this largest one, especially, and this recalls the Seneca creation story of Sky Woman descending from the sky world down towards Earth. That was really what connected me to these artworks first, that, that visual of Sky Woman coming from the sky world descending down towards the Earth. But there is also an Ojibwe story that these pieces reference, and that's the jingle specifically. Talking with uh, the artist for one of my Forbes.com stories, she mentioned uh, in the, oh, this was the Great Depression, World War I period, so you're talking 1920s-ish. Uh, there was a, a story of an Ojibwe man who had a very sick daughter and, and no medicine was able to cure her. Uh, and in a dream, it came to him this vision of a jingle dress attaching jingles to her clothing and then dancing in that clothing and that uh, medicine healed the girl and it is believed that that is the truth because then this jingle dress and the uh, jingle spread to other native nations so it worked and the, the medicine of the jingle was spread and in his vision it was these tin can tops rolled into jingles and then the, the dancing of that uh, garment with the jingles attached to it that uh, created the medicine to help his daughter. And again, you see here some of the, uh, the kinetic movement. You can see the, <clears throat> the rigging for those allows them to spin and move. And what a fantastic installation this is again here at Kavi Gupta Gallery in Chicago. It's uh, Marie Watt's first exhibition with Kavi Gupta Gallery. She's based in Portland now, one of the most prominent Native American artists working today. She has uh, her work in uh, not only exhibitions but permanent collections. I just saw her stuff at uh, the Buffalo Albright Knox Gallery, uh, the Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts, again, one of the very tippy top of the mountain contemporary Native American artists working today and, and you can see why. Let's take a, a walk through here as our, our final entree <laughs> with Marie Watts' Jingle Clouds. <laughs>